it's so this is it. What do you call this thing? It says the name is no warranty. <laughs> no, it's not. The compact air life. This is a prototype. Oh, I have no, oh, I see. No this compact air life. No yeah, warranty. no warranty name. Marketing, so, I don't know where marketing gurus do that. So this is yeah. the HP's um, netbook, um, the Android-based netbook, right? Yeah. And then it has a 3G. Actually, supports M it SMS, SMS, SMS and MMS. SMS. It has 3G. It has Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. and it has GPS as well. Really, it has GPS too, yeah, and it's touch screen too. Here, GPS, built-in camera. I see. And this has the Snapdragon core yeah, coming out, right? Snapdragon, exactly. One gigahertz or what's one gigahertz. It? it have 16 giga, giga of SSD memory. Uh, mm -hmm. You can have uh, up to 32 uh, giga SD card, which is mm -hmm. here. What about RAM? RAM is uh, 512. Oh wow, that's not bad. Can it, can you load up some games on here? Uh, you could, you could if it's supported by by an Android. Android application, right? Uh, any Android application? Well, this is something we uh, need to be clear on that because Android applications in the Android market, for example, they are uh, developed for small screens. Mm -hmm. So, may, some of them may work here, may work correctly because they will enlarge. Some of them will en open like big letters or something like that. So this is why we are working together with Telefonica on an on application store that they are putting in service. We are also talking with developers from Android in order to ensure that those applications that are put here are really having the, the experience, the user experience that we are expecting. So uh, Android was developed mainly to be a smartphone operating system, yeah. right? right? What are the main uh, caveats or limitations that you have now that you want to Android so it's touch screen and the keyboard and the Android buttons are here. So and the GPS and the 3G without the voice. That's for some reason they disabled the voice. They don't want. They don't think it's the right use case of these things for now. But it comes also with a webcam. Um, and there we go. This is Daniel and I being totally impressed by this piece of device. It's, it's quite impressive. Um, I can actually press the screen. It's actually recording right now. And yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, go ahead and press the stop. So you can actually replay it. Yeah, there you go. This is, uh, this is quite the device. Go back, cancel. And it's fanless. It has no fan, it has no moving parts. And uh, it doesn't heat up. There is no ventilation system. Um, there's nothing. So, so it, it, are you sure this is? Oh, this is the speaker. It's not the, not the fan. No, no. Show me some some video. Yeah, show us the good stuff. <laughs> so you have dedicated volume keys here. So you integrated all the codecs with the Qualcomm support. So you have this speaker here. For example, on the photo, let me show you. Full mode to show your photos here. Oh. Yeah. Who developed that app? Is it Android? It's, it's, it's uh, not an Android app. No, it's uh, uh, it's, it's called with the third party app. Oh, I see. But this is the cover flow of the iPhone. You want to enlarge it? There is another mode, you know? No, there is no mode to that. <laughs> <laughs> but, now this is but you can, you know, easily that, select any of those and share it automatically with via email, put it in, in Facebook, you know, Picasso, for example, put your login and your password and it will be uploaded automatically. Or a 3G. Yeah. So what's the price point? So you said Telefonica is going to be interesting in Europe. When, when is the release date, you know? Uh, the release date is uh, spring. So Which is? It's spring is a couple of months from now on. So we don't have the exact, exact date yet. And the price will always, be, will always depend on the data plan you are uh, getting with this, with this phone. But what's Other the price? target? I mean, we cannot disclose that yet. 100 bucks, 200 bucks, 300? Uh, we don't have this information yet. It's really uh, depending on the, the strategy of the operator. I see. Again, having, for example, but what's your goal or what's your ideal world? Since it's really a partnership with the operator, this information needs to be uh, still discussed. And, and, uh, okay, so you guys haven't locked it down yet? Yeah. Okay. But do you think it's, you're going to reach, as a consumer, can I buy this at 999 or something? I mean, 99 dollars or something? Something? In the I cannot really comment on that. Yeah. So it's because it's still not available, you know, this information, and it always depends. It will be subsidized by the by the yeah. operator, but we are not. It will just stand, and it will always depend on the data plan. Got it.
got it. What about peripherals? I mean, peripherals, you can have no some support, right? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, this is one of the, uh, uh, we call it Android. Android limitations. So we have mini USB here, so you can connect to your PC, for example, and in your PC will appear as a virtual disk. Okay. It's cool because you can drop and, and modify all these messages. Yeah. Headset, also support of Bluetooth headset, uh, stereo headset, you can have it here, mm -hmm. and SD card. Here, you can put the for your camera. For well, up to 32 gigabytes, you yeah, said? Yeah, yeah, okay. up to 32 gigabytes. And what applications, built-in applications will you have? Yep. Yeah. So all of them that I'm showing will be in. This is very impressive. Thing. So photos, music, yeah, I the music now. What what's the music application? Is that the music application. That's a standard. Uh, no, Android it's a partnership, partnership with a third party uh, mm -hmm. company as well. And then you can put it, you can synchronize with your iTunes library and your PC. You while you, you, you fly it, we are providing a, a, a client <laughs> for your PC that will enable to synchronize your iTunes library with this. So your third-party application syncs with iTunes? Sure. So we have as well support road sync, for example, it's supporting, uh, it's providing support for exchange. Mm -hmm. So you can have really your email while working and okay. having all the time for so your email here. You know? okay. yeah. Also, we are providing a file manager. You know, like you have your internal storage here, you can create your folders same as you are doing. What, what, what formats do you support? Yeah, we we'll support Office documents, yeah. we we'll support Office in editor and, and viewer mode. Both? So, editor out mode, of the box? editor mode. Out of the box. At this point of time, it's viewer, but when we will oh. relaunch it in a couple of months, oh. it will be editor as well. Oh, okay. We oh, have PDF, we have yeah, PDF viewer. Too, sure. It looks the same way, right? Yeah, it's, it looks the same way, so you know. Which software is this? Is this, the this is called Quick Office. Quick Office. Mm -hmm. So we have this guys here. We have no, no, implemented natively yeah. the, the editor uh, as well. Okay. By Quick Office. By Quick Office. Okay. We have, uh, you can map, you know, your Google account, Google Docs so account. You can use it the Office, PDF, what else? Uh, Office. PowerPoint too? Uh, pa yeah, no, so oh. Word, Excel, oh, no, PowerPoint. Office, sorry, Word, no, Office, Excel, PowerPoint, and PDF. Okay. Viewers and editors, okay. Yeah, editors, I mean, PDF will Would be this viewer. connect to print, printers or no? Uh, Your not. printers, they should be printers. Yeah. At the moment, uh, we are not natively, no, through the store. It's always open to have like a cloud printing service that we are also uh, showing in this. Oh, stuff. I see. You can put your, no, your, your uh, Google Docs account, it's mapped to your file manager in the same way it will be part of the, of the, of the disk, but you are actually, uh, you are actually uh, working on the, on the network on that. Like, can you sync the files over the uh, Wi-Fi or the synchronization? Yeah, or does it no, have you, to be through the cable? No, nah, for, for synchronization, yeah. it needs to be uh, through the cable to exchange, like save. Uh, it's not automatically synced, but you can download and by the way, is this, it's not multi touch, right? No, it's not multi touch. For example, on that way, you will need to go. Oh, sorry, well, so, you need to go here. Uh -huh. And then it will be like a tomb, you know, you have seen that here. So what is the screen? Is it resistive or capacitive? It's uh, resistive. It's resistive? Yeah, you have to push a little bit. We are at the bottom, sorry. Oh, okay. And that's why it's not that responsive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we so need to push it. Use the Android problem. It. We have added, you know, this mouse here, so I will also allow you to like, press in. You can. You can really scroll if you want it. You develop that part. Yeah, we. This is a HP implementation of a pointer here on top of the Android. This is not Google. Google. Are they gonna implement the mouse functionality themselves? I don't know. This is a HP implementation. And will you give that back? I guess since it's Android, you have to give that back to the open source community. No. It's just available in this device. Oh, I see. So I was showing you as well. You have. GPS, so we'll yeah, it shows the GPS. Yeah. The maps and stuff, you know, because it's not connected, but you will have this connection here. You have, you can you know, navigate, for example. Oh, so it's navigation by. Uh, oh. uh, so yeah. <laughs> what doesn't it do? Yeah. So, it's, so it's 12. It's really, uh, and the battery life is. The battery is like all day computing. Huh? It means all day computing. It means like close that. You so it means it, if you close it, what? it still stays connected. So My colleague says it. If you close it, it still you stay connected. So you, right. it's like a, a mobile phone. Space. You don't switch it off. Um, you know when you put it in your pocket. Because it receives an SMS. It receives an SMS. It receives your email. It receives your IM. So will it beep? Will it beep or vibrate? IM. IM, for example, it will send you a notification. But the idea is, it's instant. Also, as soon as you open it, it will take you to the home screen, and it's still connected.